Cloud Cities right now. A woman is dealing with a bit of a peach problem. She has simply grown too many. But now, as News 8's Jenna Morton reports, she's set to give them all away for free while packaging in a lesson on life. Driving through Bishop Hill, Illinois, a small town of 130, you'll come across Summer Cottage at the end of Lindstrom Road. Just had found a new glass blower. Outside of owning the blown glass uh, gift this shop. Company over here, I'm the top seller of these in the United States for this company. Arlene Rigg so has a hobby of planting fruit trees. No, I, I was raised on a farm in Minnesota and uh, taught how to can and, and make jam. But her hobby has led to a bit of a problem. So they went absolutely crazy this year with all the rain. Last year, Arlene had health issues that almost cost her her life. I had 10 months of total health. Unable to take care of the trees, anyway. she got more peaches than she asked for. No, no, I've never seen a fruit crop like this in my entire life. Plywood is there to hold the trees up. The trees are actually snapping in half. And while she's tried to can as many of them as possible. My neighbors are bringing over glass jars. <laughs> she says there's still too many to go to waste. I have another bunch over there. 40 peach trees in all. All these I want to give away. After beating death. I was saved from uh, leaving this earth and uh, I need to give back and, and to help somebody else. Arlene has decided to put her overgrown hobby. But I mean, just look at this. To good use. Mainly, I'm, I want any food pantry or a place, shelter or any place like that to give me a call. Sharing her love for peaches at no price. And the smell, isn't that wonderful? I think come up with a perfume. <laughs> and giving back to others the best way she knows how. Just want to be sure that the, those that need it get some. Jenna Morton, WQAD News 8. Thank you, Jenna. Now, Arlene says these peaches will go bad by the end of the weekend. You can find out how to get some by clicking on this story on WQAD.com.